Yeah, so we're getting to the time of year when, you know, it's, it's turning a little bit chilly and uh, the fo our fo birding focus, you know, turns to things like wildfowl, um, raptors and wildfowl. So I thought I'd put together a little um, few images of just some of the sort of species that we get in Essex, um, with the exception of taiga bingies, which is quite a rarity, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So everyone, everyone should be familiar um, with our good old friend, the grey lag goose, um, you know, very chunky goose, um, that lovely bright orange bill and pinky orange legs. Um, so we're familiar with that. So this is our sort of base species, um, quite overall grey brown. Um, yeah, quite a smart bird actually, often overlooked. And here's a couple, these are all Matt, a lot of these are Matt's photographs. So thanks Matt for uh, sending these in. Um, but yeah, nice, nice shot there. Nice orange bill again and same pink leg. And here's a few in flight. So there's just quite an overall grey brown. Um, the upper wing in flight is quite pale. And as you can see, underwing there is quite like white and black underwing. And then we move on to some of our sort of other species that turn up in Essex. So this is pink footed goose. So it used to be quite a rare bird in Essex, but they're turning up quite more regularly now. Numbers in Norfolk and Suffolk are increasing. This is a, a very small goose, so quite a bit smaller than the grey lag. And as you can see from the shot, very dark headed and, neck, and necked with the pink and black bill. And uh, this lovely sort of scalloping on the, uh, on the upper parts. And this was taken at Aberton a few years ago. Um, and here in flight, you can, you can see the obviously dark head and neck contrasting with a sort of grey brown body and then you, in flight they've got these lovely uh, sort of bluey bluish tinge to the wings blue panels on the wings and uh, a nice pink and black beak is nice small and obviously it's got pink legs uh, hence the name pink footed goose so these are well worth keeping an eye out in the next month or two um, especially sort of around the coast and occasionally inland as well and another species that turns up quite regularly in Essex is the, this has got a greater white fronted goose or the Russian white fronted goose. And uh, you can see why it's called the white fronted goose. It's got this big nasal, if I can just enlarge a little bit, there you go. You can see this nice white uh, base to the bill. And Russian white fronted geese have a nice, have a pink bill, pink bill and uh, orange, orange legs. And you can see on these three birds here, um, they've all got varying amounts of black barring on the belly, which is, you know, pretty diagnostic and, uh, you know, a good ID, ID marker. Obviously, the bird on the left's got a lot more than the birds, the bird in the middle and the bird on the right. So the, and last year, I don't know if you guys remember this, there was a massive influx yeah. into Essex of that, uh, almost, I think there was like a thousand odd birds down in South Essex, Wallasey Island. Mm. Um, Even into London, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I remember having one over the garden here one evening. So, this this photo was actually taken at Holland, and and 183, I think, there were in the flock that came over. And I was watching something else, and they came over from behind me, and the noise was brilliant. And they all just landed, and it, yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. yeah, for any international viewers, that's Holland Haven, Essex, not Holland oh. as in the country. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> 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 There's lots of the those <laughs> there, no doubt. <laughs> three, <laughs> three in Holland. <laughs> and here is that shot that Matt talked about with the birds, the birds coming into land. Brilliant. Uh, you can obviously see they've got nice, say, pink bills and bright orange legs. They say all of these birds, they all look like, uh, yeah, these are all uh, white fronted geese. One of those times you'll never forget, Matt. Yeah, I'm um, just just absolutely fabulous. It was me and and Mick Rod Rodwell. We were the only two people on the site at the time, yeah. and um, I was over one side, he was over the other. We hadn't even said hello yet, and these birds came across, and we were both just speechless. It was a, yeah, just one of those moments that yeah. you remember forever, don't you? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, hopefully, with the weather turning colder, certainly from this weekend, um, we may get an, an influx of geese. I mean, ideally, you need something colder on the continent to fall them across but mm. you know who knows so these are all uh, russian or uh, european white fronted geese 
And if I can, uh, wait, oh no, I've got to zoom out, haven't I? I knew I'd cock it up somewhere along the line. And here's a, <laughs> and here's a shot of Matt, of Matt's uh, nice close range. Um, uh, showing the nice clear view of the white on the base of the hill. And you, do, the, you do get grey lads with a white round the bill from time yeah. to time, don't you? But the beak's so much bigger, it's that real carrot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's got a very sort of yeah, farmyard, typical farmyard goose sort of bill. Yeah. These are a much more delicate bill in comparison. Um, so this is a, yeah, re a Russian white fronts. And then I'll just zoom in this. So this is a Greenland white fronted goose. So this is quite a rarity in Essex. Um, this one was taken at Mersey, I think, Matt, wasn't it? Uh, no, that was actually Holland Haven again. That was Holland Haven again. That was tall, sorry, again. Not, yeah, about four or five years ago. Yeah, there was one at Holland Haven and I think one, one or two at Mersey at the same sort of time. Hmm. Um, so this, as you can see, it's got a lot of black barring. It tends to be more heavily black barred than uh, the Russian or European white fronts. And again, has the orange legs. But you'll notice if I can zoom in a bit more, it's got an orange bill. Very orange, isn't it? And legs. Mm. Very orange bill. Um, and again, you can nice comparison with the grey leg geese in the background. They've just kind of got bigger heads, grey legs, haven't they? They just look bigger, don't they? Yeah. yeah you can see that one on the left's got a bit of attitude. He has. He's, uh, <laughs> so yeah, well worth well worth looking out for Greenland white fronts. Um, these birds tend to winter up in sort of the you know uh, the west coast, the Outer Hebrides, and places like that. Few into Wales and, and Ireland, but they do occasionally turn up in Essex. Um, so yeah, well worth looking out for those if you're scanning through your uh, goose flocks. <laughs> um, then what we've got next, we have ah, this is a tundra bean goose. So again, I just zoomed in a bit there. So um, you can see slightly stockier than the, the white-fronted geese that are uh, that are present there. Um, Similar sort of shape bill to the pink footed goose, but it's got a small amount of orange on. And obviously it's got orange legs. So that's another smart bird that turns up, turns up in Essex, uh, you know, not every winter, but you know, more occasionally than not. And uh, yeah, so that's one worth looking out for. Um, yeah, there was quite a few of them at Abbotton last year, I think, wasn't there? Or the year before it might have been actually. Yeah, there was a small, uh, a, a several small flocks roaming around the reservoir, and again, I think they, it was taken up at Holland Haven again. I think Matt wasn't it? Uh, yeah, this one was. Yeah, I mean they, they just look a bit darker than certainly than Pinkfoot. Um, so if you can't see the legs if they're in the water, they just look like a darker bird, particularly on the on the on the mantle of the back, you know, on their wings. Um, the Pinkfoot look a lot more frosty, don't they? Absolutely. And actually, just in this picture here, we've got a, uh, this bird. Well, can, can you see my mouse? Can yeah. You, yeah, yeah a, a juvenile white-fronted goose. So it mm. doesn't have the black barring like the adults. And you've got an adult here just on the right-hand side of the screen. But if I zoom in a little tiny bit and just move that over, That's good. the juveniles still have a bit of white around the base of the bill, but they have a little black tip to the bill. Okay. So that's well worth, uh, and I think pretty much we've got quite a few juveniles there actually. Mm. Yeah, so maybe that's a family party. Quite Could possible. be, yeah. And obviously, don't you see, it's the pink bill as well. That's the kind of the giveaway with the Russian one, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice shot there, Matt. I really like that. And then this is this is incredibly rare in Essex, but again, you know, always worth a, a scan out. I apologise for the poor image. Uh, this was taken up in Norfolk um, at Buckingham Marshes. But this is Tiger Bean Goose. Um, so superficially similar to the Tundra Bean Goose. Um, but tends to be much longer necked. Sorry, Steve, you're, I think your microphone just cut out when you, it's the Tiger Bean Goose, isn't it? Oh, this is Tiger Bean Goose. Sorry about that. I don't know what happened. That's right. there. You'll hear me now, yeah, presumably? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so this is Tiger Bean Goose. So it's got a much longer neck than Tundra Bean Goose and a more sort of longer bill and tends to have a little bit, tends to have quite a bit more orange on the bill um, than Tundra Bean Goose. So, yeah, well worth keeping an eye out for these. Um, I mean, I have to say numbers are declining pretty uh, rapidly in, in Britain. I mean, this is just taken near Norwich. Um, and I think I think there's, well, I think there was only like one or two birds came back last winter. So mm. fingers crossed um, they come back again. So uh, 
I take uh, it that's a kind of kind of a climate change type thing. Is it they're they're staying elsewhere or? To be fair, Matt. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they breed. I mean, they tend to winter a lot in like Sweden and Scandinavia, and I think again it's quite mild there, so they tend to stay up, stay in their sort of breeding grounds, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just a, quite a brief feature, but just gives the bird, you know, gives everyone an idea of what to look for. Mm. Superb. Daryl Rhymes has asked a question, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put it in a pictorial form. So he said, okay. "What about?" Oh, that's a white fronted goose. Yeah. Oh, I, I just I just like to add, this is not a photo I've taken. This is that I've just found it on the Cornell website. So credit website. to them, of that's course. Whoever posted that, yeah. So yeah. again, this is well worth looking out for as well, actually. And uh, yeah, very sim much smaller than the greater white, you know, the, the European white-fronted goose. A um, bit more of an extensive white blaze on the on the on the forehead there, going up onto the forehead, and this lovely yellow eye ring. And they're quite a small goose. I mean, obviously they are a quite a small goose. So, um, and not not so much black barring on the belly. As I say, I've never seen one, but they, it looks relatively short-necked as well. You know, almost like a. A duck yeah. sort of size, almost, or yeah, type structure, you know, that sort of bird. Kind of heads, heads the kind of shape and size of a barnacle goose, isn't it? Mm. Uh, pretty, pretty cute. 